Scott Meyer here with Artist Network, and I want to show you a really cool new tool that I use daily now in my drawing practice. It's called the DaVinci Eye app. I want to walk you through some of the cool features that it's got that not only make my drawing practice easier, but it makes me a better drawer. <laughs> so if you watch my show, uh, drawing together. Every week we give ourselves a new challenge because we're trying to grow our artistic practice. We're trying to improve. And sometimes you, a new tool comes along that helps you do just that. And the DaVinci Eye app has so many features in it that align with what I'm looking to develop in my own art. So what it does is it allows you to see both the reference image and your drawing simultaneously. And it does it through your camera's phone. So what the app is, is this is a way for you to see your drawing and your reference image simultaneously. So as I hold the app up, I'm seeing through my camera at my paper, I'm also seeing the reference image overlaid on top of that. And so if I have my pencil here, I can be observing the marks that I'm making on my paper with a transparency of that reference image there to help guide my marks. Uh, now, they also have available on their site stands like this that allow you to work kind of hands-free to hold the the reference steady while you're working here. I like to start with a loose gesture and then go through and correct the proportions. And sometimes I just need to double check those proportions. This app allows me to do that. So you can actually scale the reference image to make it larger. So I have a small sheet here, but if I have a larger sheet, I can still use the tool to be able to do that as well. When learning to draw traditionally, one of the tools that I would use is I'd have my reference image and I have my drawing and I would just bring my reference image on top of the drawing, moving it back and forth to see what stands out out as needing correction. This app has that feature built in. It's called the strobe features. Other features that it has are a grid. So if you like to work with a grid, it'll, it'll help you to see that. It has a torch that allows you to brighten up your drawing to see things a little bit more effectively. And one of the great tools is called the breakdown tool where it literally breaks down the reference image into a set of abstract shapes that allow you to either build the entire drawing from scratch and it'll show you what what shape and what value to use at each step, or you can kind of use it to compare specific elements in the drawing. And that's the one that I use the most, I think, beyond getting the proportions right, is breaking it down into those simple shapes. All right, so when working on a tabletop, I prefer to work in classic mode using this stand here. But if you like to work on an easel, they also have AR mode with this really awesome adjustable stand. So AR mode is a great feature that maps your reference image to the paper, um, but keeps it consistent if there's any variation with perspective or distance from the artwork. So you can move your, uh, your phone around and the image stays locked to your paper. So that's a great feature to try out. So check out the DaVinci Eye app. It's a tool that I use regularly in my own drawing practice to develop the skills that I'm looking to develop and it adapts to the way that I work, and I think it's gonna work great for you too. So go to davinciiapp.com. It works for Android and it works for iOS, so go to those app stores and download the app today.